So you may have heard there's an electric car allegedly coming for a pretty secretive company that's supposed to revolutionize autonomous cars and EVs altogether. And if your mind immediately went to the Apple car, that is not what I'm talking about. So I'm actually talking about Tesla and the car that's going to slot below the Model 3. Tesla on the record has said they plan on making a $25,000 electric car with at least 200 miles of range. That's what we know. There's a lot though that we don't and there's some hints and nuggets that we can get at to sort of figure out what Tesla's next car is gonna be. By the way, if you're also interested in Tesla as an investment in the stock market, uh, I've got a whole new personal finance channel out called Money Rush, and I've got a video up there talking in pretty big detail if, if Tesla is a bubble. Uh, if you wanna check out the channel or the video, and I hope you do, uh, I'll link to it down below. So first, uh, I'm calling this a Model 2 because I don't know what else to call this car. It's below the Model 3, so that's what I'm dubbing it. Tesla's naming scheme though is Aside from trying to spell sexy, it doesn't make that much sense. The Model S stood for model sedan, but after that, went off the rails. So Tesla's master plan that's been released for, I guess now almost a decade, is to essentially get an electric car in every segment and to sort of speed up the adoption of electric cars, whether they're Teslas uh, or not. And they've hit a lot of those, obviously but where they are missing in a glaring hole is on sort of the more affordable mass market car. And that was in theory what the Model 3 was supposed to be. They announced it as a $35,000 electric car and Tesla did kind of get there, but they abandoned it relatively quickly and the $35,000 Model 3 was sort of a short-lived promise fulfilled than sort of a long-term vision. So Tesla has been working for a while uh, in China, they have a Gigafactory in Shanghai. They're building Model 3s and Model Ys there. And in that same facility, they're opening a design center, which Elon has talked about pretty publicly. He said Chinese design is one of the most beautiful in the world. It makes sense that we would design the next car here. And while this Model 2 will be designed in China, it'll be exported all over the world and probably even built uh, at the Gigafactory in Shanghai. The big question, I think, for a lot of people, especially in the US, is, well, why would Tesla want to do a hatchback? I get wanting to do a less expensive car. Uh, hatchbacks, especially inside of the US, are the de facto cars for most people. Like pickup trucks are huge in the US. Uh, it's hatchbacks all over the world. It's sometimes smaller roads and they just make more sense and more practical cars. And Elon's even shown, and Tesla's even shown pictures and render actually of this Model 2. And you can see very clearly they're going that hatchback route. Uh, yet to be seen how adoption in the US would be, but internationally, I could see this being a really huge uh, success for Tesla. And while all of this sounds awesome, the big thing about it obviously is the price. And Tesla's publicly and on the record said they are aiming to get this car to $25,000. Now, a bunch of question marks are gonna be there. What options are gonna be taken out? What are you gonna have to sacrifice to get at 25,000? Does that $25,000 include incentives that countries are offering all over the world? We don't know, but we do know for sure, at least it'll be less expensive than the Model 3. So we know this is a real car. This isn't speculation. Tesla's publicly talked about this car, although never calling it uh, the Model 2. But I think the big question is, what is Tesla going to add in this car? What is it going to have from a feature standpoint once it finally hits the road. I think that this car needs to start with a, a misconception, right? We've all been led to believe for obvious reasons, the less expensive a car, the less nice, less premium, less features you have. That makes sense, right? Uh, with EVs, it has potential at least to be a bit different. The biggest cost of the car is in the battery pack, the lithium ion cells itself. And the reason this car is not out on the roads now is because Tesla's price per kilowatt is still expensive, less expensive than every other uh, manufacturer out there. But after their battery day, after they debuted new battery technology that they're planning on making, and as that cost per kilowatt sort of just goes down even more, this becomes more of an option for Tesla. Now, certainly their profit margins will be lower than other more expensive cars, uh, but also it lets them keep some of those premium features or at the very least add more range than ever before on an electric car at that price point. They're planning for this to have full autonomous capabilities. So whether or not you believe that'll actually happen, who knows, but Tesla builds their cars at least with that in mind. So you can extrapolate a lot of things from the cars they have now. 
Uh, we shouldn't see any stocks on either side of the steering wheel. So like turn signal wipers, uh, all that kind of stuff should completely be gone. Uh, it's safe to assume it's going to adopt sort of the Spartan, almost Scandinavian style design of the interior. So center touchscreen uh, and not much else. There actually are a lot of clues about the Model 2 from the Model 3 when it was announced. Tesla was really trying to get that price point down. They announced that things like the glass roof would be an option you could choose to add. They announced that cloth seats would be an option that you could pick to have on your car. And those never ended up being things that could be bought uh, with the Model 3. So it would make sense that they would be options here on the Model 2 in an aim of getting the price down, at least give people the choice to pay as little as possible uh, to get into a Tesla. So these are obviously things that you can choose to add on your car if you want to get it as low as possible. And Tesla needs to offer this car in some form at $25,000, but certainly that's not gonna be the only version of this car that's available. Uh, there should be other options and following sort of Tesla's launch, you can expect first uh, a premium version, kind of a, a hot hatch that'll have you know, probably less range, but have a quicker zero to 60 time. I would imagine probably a five-ish seconds uh, would make sense for a performance version. The other things you can add, obviously the, the glass roof, you could add the vegan leather. You probably have the option for different wheels. Tesla likes to add spoiler options, interior options, uh, options for cellular connectivity, all those things that ultimately add to the price of the car. You have the ability to make your you know, Model 2 feel more premium depending on how much you want to spend. And obviously with a car like this or any electric car, you want to know how far you can go. Sort of the range anxiety, I think is a big barrier to entry to anybody looking to get into electric vehicles. And presumably this Model 2 will be a lot of people's first EV. Uh, and Tesla has said on the record, at least 200 miles of range. Whether or not that's enough for you, you know, I can't say, but it will have access at the very least to Tesla's really good and expanding supercharger network. And if you have the ability of charge at home, 200 should be pretty good for almost all daily commutes. So range, what it's going to look like, features, we can kind of guess at all of that, but obviously the giant question is like, when can you buy one? When can you order your Model 2? Uh, at battery day last year, uh, Elon said this car is about three years out. And there's still a lot of steps Tesla has to go to to get this thing out. Uh, they're still building their design center in Shanghai. Well, they are full steam ahead with hiring. It's expected that towards the middle Q3 of this year, it'll be ready to go and the design process can either start or continue on the car. And Elon's timeframes are kind of notoriously aggressive. Uh, they tend to not deliver on that time. And Tesla's spread, at least appears to be very thin right now. Of cars that have been announced that are not yet on the road, uh, you've got, at least as of this filming, the redesigned Model S and Model X. You've got the Tesla Semi, you've got the Cybertruck and the Roadster. That's a lot of announced projects that they're taking money for that they don't have yet uh, on the road. So I'd imagine those will take priority before this Model 2. So three years from 2020 puts us at 2023 perhaps the end of 2023, or more likely the middle towards the end of 2024. But in typical Tesla fashion, it wouldn't surprise me if by the end of this year, they're already taking deposits uh, for this car. There's still a lot of hurdles that have you've yet to get through to make this car a reality. And the biggest one, you know, the battery cells themselves. Tesla has to get the price per kilowatt down to make this a viable car at that price point. And if any company in the world can do it, it's Tesla, whether you love or hate them, their price per kilowatt is lower than anybody else in the industry. And they've got the design chops, they've got the experience, and they've got the cells to make it happen. Which has yet to be seen though, they can actually deliver on what they're promising.